Hello everyone, welcome to Hunter Gatherer Cooking, where today we are hunting gin, uh, one of my favorite drinks. And we're going back to my roots, back to the Chew Valley. And I'm going to see my mate Joe from Chew Valley Distillery in the heart of Chew Magna. When I last saw Joe, he was dropping off one of his amazing bottles of gin, which by the way, if you're a gin lover, this one is exceptional. Um, I am on my way there now, they, not that long ago, acquired a shop to move into and set the distillery up in, and now it's it's virtually done and, and ready. So I'm heading there to see what it is that they've done. And here we are in the lovely little village of Chumagna, outside the distillery. Mate, this looks amazing. I've seen the pictures, and the pictures just don't do it credit, do they? Not with all the textures, everything going. Mate, this is amazing. Pretty cool, isn't it? And have you done all of this? My dad's done every little bit, yeah. Wow. Every bit. It's pretty damn good, isn't it? This is a work in progress. Mate. So it is a write-off out here, but this is um. So this was the hairdressers. Yeah. You come through there. It all still needs to be done. Here's all the old hairdresser stuff. Oh, this, right. This is going to be the bottling room in the office. And right. So gotcha. This is all going to be a stainless worktop through here and a massive sink. Yeah. Because at the minute I'm bottling out there, but have we got people in for a drink? Mm. Um, yeah. So everyone's process when distilling gin or making their own gin is totally different. Some people um, macerate like I do. So for 24 hours, um, I sit the alcohol and all the botanicals inside the milk churn or a still if I've got access to the still. It'll steep in there for 24 hours. And then on the day of distillation, I pour the alcohol into the base there, which is just warming up into the actual pot still and put the uh, botanicals in the vapor basket or column. And then when this boils at uh, about 80 degrees, just under 80 degrees, the vapor goes up through the um, column, up through all the botanicals, out through the top. And in here in a minute, I'm going to turn our um, machine on. It's cool water. And as soon as the vapor touches this cool water, it turns back into a liquid and um, comes out here. So I'll fill that up in a minute. Uh, today in here, we've got um, Apple and blackberry, which is a result because we didn't think we'd be doing another one this year. Right. But we've uh, had to call in loads of favours for neighbours, friends, family, and everyone. Anyone that's been picking blackberries can help us out and we'll give them a little miniature. Oh, and because I couldn't get the crumbies to come through with the, just the vapour infusion, I'm uh, basically making a cranberry vodka. Oh, nice. So this will be today, will be cranberry vodka, and that will be added to uh, the rest of which I'm going to do next week, the second batch of the winter gin. Yeah, nice. And uh, yeah, you basically do a blend of the two different spirits to get the flavour of the cranberries to come out. Amazing. You just get yeah. to play all day, don't you, really? I will. When I've got loads of these little stills, and yeah. uh, it's really expensive to play. So uh, that's, that's the original, isn't it? So yeah, that's the original. What was her name? Uh, this is... Um, Grace. Grace. Yeah, this is Grace after my uh, youngest daughter's middle name. She's the smallest, so Grace, no, that's the smallest. Uh, three litre copper Olympic still. And say we'll have six of these in here uh, for the gin school and possibly two more over there because these aren't going to stay here all the time. Have you named them all? Yeah, they've all got names. Oh no, what's that one? Can't miss that one, mate. She's absolutely filthy at the minute, but that's Louise. Oh yeah, of course, I can see the rain now. 150 litre, absolutely wow. filthy, due to all the work going on here. 150 litre copper still. Um, we've got 150 bottles out of there just using half of the capacity at the moment. Wow. So um, when we need to turn it up next year and we come out of lockdown, she'll be uh, ready to save us. Same principle. So um, in here is this is a, like a water bath, right? So it's full of water in there, and inside there's a copper. If you have a look, um, it's just a copper pot, the same as that that sits inside that. What what water heats bath. that then? Is that gas? No, this is electrical elements. Oh, okay. So um, you might need a light. Should I get you a light? Uh, yeah. Go on then. So in there is our. Oh yeah. Cell. So that's all copper. Everything's copper. Um. Nice. So yeah, same principle as the small ones, 
and um, basically instead of the botanicals going above it, the, um, the vapour goes through, touches loads of copper inside here, uh, we've got like little um, sort of leaves coming out the side of there, like yeah. little fans, just to catch as much, so it touches as much copper as possible out through the top and then this is our botanical basket here so right. inside here is an absolute mess hearing me is um our vapor basket so that will be full of botanicals and same same principle when you say botanicals yeah fresh dried or how, how does it work Dr they're pretty much dried yeah. so um <clears throat> i get some i have brought them all over I've got and you mentioned bag. apples are those dried as well no. or, or fre so fresh blackberries and apples fresh blackberries and apples right fresh, um but i do freeze them yeah um to get the uh so this is a size so that's coriander seeds wow um and the main one because if you haven't got this inside your spirit juniper i'm assuming yes if this is inside your spirit it's not a it's, um, not gin. it's not gin so it has to be juniper wow so we're gonna smell it it's beautiful but yeah i've got 11 botanicals in both the london dry and the navy and that's sort of my um my base that i've that's my personal thing. Yeah. Everyone's is different, but that's the one I've done for. And then most other gyms sort of use that as a base and either add in bits and take it away as to flavour. So the uh, London, the apple and blackberry doesn't have the fennel in it because it's too and it's right. sort of flavour. We launched that London dry in February this year. So it's a year now as when we were only talking about and applying for the licenses. We hadn't even made a gin until middle of December. Wow. Last year, 2019, so. It's mental. Mate, I remember when now. you dropped that bottle round. Uh, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, I, I, I think, I think. March? Yeah. I would um, show you behind there, but to see water, so this has got to be a constant flow inside of these condensers. Oh, right, yeah. So cold water going in the bottom um, and then coming up through, and obviously it warms up a little bit, so then it goes out the top one. Um, normally, it'd have that just on a constant. Oh, I see feed. what you mean. I can see the taps and that. Yeah. So behind here in that false wall, we've got a big water tank on a beer chiller. Oh, and that right. That's constantly pumping cold water through, so it goes back into that beer chiller. Oh, so you're not wasting it. it. Down so we don't waste any water. Right. So, so, so these things here, is is that just sat on that, and that effectively is a hot plate? Yeah, it's just a hot plate, like a catering hot plate. So you could whip that off and put some burgers on. You certainly can, mate. Yeah. And that's, that's the plan. So when Dad's doing anything for the lobster, um, if he's doing any, because we want to do festivals and stuff like that with the lazy lobster. Yeah. Um, we've got these on tap, basically, that we can use as and when. I have no yeah. idea you had so many. I've had to, to be honest, because we've... Um, had to keep up with demand. Yeah. That's brilliant. Keeping up demand and to be able to try stuff. So when we started with that one, that was on seven days a week. I can imagine. Um, I mean, it looks pretty inferior now, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah. But, yeah, we You ain't ever going to get rid of that, are you? No, that's staying. That's, that's staying forever. So this is London Dry. Mm. I'll be labelling that today. So you're doing everything by hand? Everything, yeah. Everything. So, freehand, mate. And you're lucky if you get a straight one. Do you know what? I think it makes it better, though. Yeah, people moan to me that they've got a bubble in it. So this stuff is exactly the same sort of plastic stuff as what you put on your phone screen. I was just, I was just thinking And that. you know that's a disaster, yeah. don't you? Yeah. There's no one in the world that likes putting these things. Unless you go to Apple or something like that. Oh, well, mate, even they struggle, don't they? But, um, so that is the proudest moment when we got that through. So that's our duty label to say that we're totally compliant, pay right. the duty. And that means it can go into pubs and restaurants and stuff as well. Edward the Goose. He's dressed up in different stuff on all the bottles. Where's, where's Edward the Goose come from then? It's our designer come, come mm. up with loads of different ideas. So it doesn't, doesn't mean anything? Well, as, Edward, as such, Edward's or? dad's middle name, so oh, we had okay. to give him a name. Yeah. But we said we wanted something a bit different, a bit playful, and we wanted something on the inside of the bottle. So we yeah. chose this bottle before we chose the design of the labels. Gotcha. And uh, he just had a lo load of play and stuff. There was somewhere he was on the front of the um, bottle. There's all sorts of different things, but um, yeah, it just turned out that he went there and we started playing with it with the apple and blackberry, having him dressed up in different clothes. The navy over there, he's dressed up as a, in, as a navy man. Yeah. So it's just a little bit of fun, really. So this one's a flipping nightmare, this one. Mm -hmm. 
Sorry about the light in me. It's alright. So yeah, it's just um, just something we were playing with before. It's not bad, is it? And then you've got your hand finish one. So each one's got a batch number. Batch number, bottle number. And the date of destination, so it's got a little bit more. And who did it? So it's like that little shop, that little business, is just absolutely incredible. What they're building and put together, given the the time scales that they've had, because of lockdown and things like that, is just insane. Um, I've come away. I've got a bottle for myself, which. Um, I'm, I'm gonna absolutely love especially the missus I've got some hand sanitizer as well and uh, interestingly um, Joe's given me a bag of the botanicals that come out um, of the still now he doesn't know of a way um, that those can be used again so I'm gonna try and um, find a way uh, to to do something with them. So if you've got any ideas, let me know. Um, just drop them in the comments and um, I'm going to do a little bit of research to see if there is something that we could do with them and uh, reuse maybe. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I've thoroughly enjoyed making it and visiting Chew Valley Distillery. Um, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and uh, ring the notification bell so you get notified of when new videos come up. And I will see you all soon. Thank you.